Here we go. Final destination. Tuesday loves this stage, huh? He really does. Um, I, it makes a little more sense in this matchup, I guess. Yeah. It's hard to tell um, who really likes it most. Mm -hmm. um, again, oh. another one of those matchups where I, I really have not put the theory crafting time in. So sure. it's hard for me to really comment on stages. But oh wow, it's easy to comment on that. Oh no, he DI is up, so he's gonna get no punish. It looked like he was gonna go off the side. Huh. I feel like that's been happening so much, man. Yeah. All right, what's the? Okay, yeah. So Rishi, a big proponent of wave dash forward F smash after the forward throw. The thinking is if they DI it in a certain way. Wow, that was really good too. If they DI it in a certain way, it tippers and you kill them. And if they DI in, they, sorry, if they DI it up in a way, then it, it tippers and you kill them. If they DI in, then you just get to hit them anyways and you get percent. So it's a higher frequency that you hit them than the pivot forward. Gotcha. Smash. Yeah. Safer uh, option as you know. Yeah. As but, it might go. But the the wave dash down smash, another really really interesting, uh, rarely used kill option when the puffs DI down in a way. So that was nice from Rishi. Ooh, down smash from Puff, though. Yeah, Tuesday uh, loves that. Oh, wow. Okay, not the best start coming out from Rishi, but quick forward smash will get him a stock. Still down a full one. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the rest in play, right? Yep. That's what we're seeing the effects of. Ooh. Some really quick conversions coming out from Rishi. Oh, another rest, uh, though. Okay, this time Rishi will get a, get a punish. What's he going to do? He missed bases, and I don't think it would have killed anyways. All right, but that'll kill. Wow. Nice stuff. That's so strong. Yeah. Oh. Some good stuff. Mm -hmm. But still a full lead, full stock lead from Toussaint. Mm -hmm. But we've seen Rishi be really, really efficient with his grabs so far. He's getting a lot of percent almost every time. Or a kill. Yep. Ooh. Down smash again. Really, <laughs> really trying to make that work. There we go. There's yeah. the wave dash, right? So yep. you DI up in a way, and that time you actually die from it. That's so really smart. Rishi's been really, really good. He hasn't even needed to down throw yet because his read on two, two Saints DI, which has been getting mixed up very frequently. Oh, my God. So Get much percent. Here. Yeah. 36 is not something to scoff at. No, 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 no. I mean, with a, a fair, and then you're in, you're in kill percent now off of the forward throw. <gasps> Hey, Rishi really bringing it back. Literally has the lead now. Yeah. And with how good he's been doing. Oh, my God. Literally no one has even. the lead now. Dead even. Dead even. With how well Rishi's been converting off the grabs, I got to feel good for him right now. If he gets one, at least. Oh, that's pretty okay. big. Ooh, he rolls. Not the best option. Letting Rishi come back. Oh, missing the tech really big. Oh, there it is. No oh, tipper. No tipper. So Toussaint DIing in there, which means he was DIing away for the forward throw. Rishi hoping that uh, Toussaint would be DIing a different way on the forward throw. That's the mix up with the down throw. Wow. As always. Rolling in for the grab oh. and gets the second back air coming out. Dang, Toussaint slaps his leg. We hear it over here. Yep. That was a, that was a pretty, pretty close one. Yeah, that's down um, to the wire. You, you kind of get comfortable a little bit. You think, oh, I got a big lead, and then all of a sudden, two, like one combo, one grab, mm -hmm. and then the, the puff stock evaporates. I, I like Rishi going to FD again because he's gotten such nice percent off of his forward throws because there's no platforms. Ooh, interesting. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Just like that. Um, and the two rests were really, really huge in the last game. I feel like Rishi's thinking, well, if I don't get rested, I would have won that pretty handily. And it's tough because once you get grabbed, it's a, f it's kind of a 50-50 with the DI. For a puff, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's no similar thing of, oh, if I didn't get, if I didn't get, um, you know, pivot tipper mm -hmm. that would have been my game it's kind of just like okay maybe if things go my way this match things will go better it's done it's oh it's 7-eleven no nothing here you can sneak him in though you can just sneak him in no? turns out um, Hugo wanted to know where we got beer he doesn't want to go two blocks 
jersey. Yeah, that jersey sounds about butt. right. <laughs> jersey. <laughs> you gotta get used to it, my dude. All right, Rishi out to a lead. <laughs> Look at him just batting, trying to bat Tuesday away while he's in the corner. Right. All right, trading with that Nair. Yeah, he's been so grab heavy, and I get it. He's just been so, so efficient off the grab. Yeah. But now Puff at a percent where uh, the follow-ups start to become a little bit different. It still works here, but after another fair or so, you can sort of nice. just hold DI away. Sometimes not the best, work. not the best DI from Rishi. I mm -hmm. think you, you go for the out DI so you don't get like kind of chain hit, mm -hmm. but then you just die. Yeah, uh, it needs to be a little more of a slight DI. Look, it's easy for me to criticize. It's a tough DI to pull off. <gasps> Roll rest. People in the venue are in shock. Wow, man. Two Saint pulls those out of nowhere. Yep. And we were saying Rest was the reason that uh, that Rishi lost that first game. He had done such a good job of avoiding those up tilts this game. Phantom Pound. Metal Gear Solid, the Phantom Pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Great spacing. Wow. Just, a, just this stock, Toussaint has really been going for some optimal move choices. Oh, what a recovery from Rishi. Oh, but he doesn't get one of those extended grab punishes that have made such a difference. Good read on the roll. Ooh, gets punished again. Okay. A lot of percent here. Yeah, that's huge. Now you're at kill percent. Yeah, yeah. fishing for that grab. There, he gets it. Wow, missing the pivot forward smash. Yeah. Oh, now. man. Good DI from Two Saint there. That's the mix-up, and uh, that time Rishi should have gone for the forward throw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you live and you learn, but it looks like he might. I feel like he's gonna go right back to FD. Not oh, lie. absolutely. Oh, yeah. Is that a stubbornness thing? Nah, I think that it's. I feel like he thinks it's his best stage in the matchup. Really? Oh no. Wow. Um, I think he's living. Yeah, and that that was really interesting because I I I don't know. Whether it was the puff wiggle or whether it was a wave a wave dash or a landing thing, but you saw that even the dash grab from Marth misses there. And there are a lot of situations actually where Puff's hurt box gets smaller and that can happen. Alright, not gonna kill there, but I, that makes me think actually the earlier one would have killed if he hadn't <laughs> missed it. It's a that's strong true. move. Goes yeah, yeah, so that's uh, that's really good against DI down in a way. Man, I did not know that down smash was that strong. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one, that last one he just hit off the forward throw just didn't tip her, but it would have killed if he did. Nice little chain, but counterattack from Rishi. Up smash. Not gonna quite do it yet. Oh, Tusink gets really, really over eager there. Yeah. Well, that let Rishi come down for free way too easily. That almost felt like he was going for a bait. Like, gonna do it and then hit him as the Rishi tries to punish it. Yeah, it's something weird like that where he's like, all right, he's not gonna go for this, but if I do an, I don't know. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. Maybe it's just a bad thing. Ooh, that would have, I would have done a little golf clap for that one if it had killed. Yeah, that would have been uh, really smart. I thought it was gonna kill. Ooh, that would have. Mm. Pound? I guess, why not? Nice. Yep. Standard stuff from Rishi. Thousand needles. Yep. Shoutouts to Cactuar. Two Saints DI on the uh, on the throws has now been very very hard for Rishi to deal with. Yeah, it's interesting when you see that good DI. It's really just is he in Rishi's head? Is he just guessing correctly? Good DI yeah. doesn't get the kill. Okay, so he's gonna go for it. Wow. Yeah, all right, all right. It would have killed earlier. Smash. What yeah, so that's a setup. That's a setup. You, you, just you go to the side of them, you roll, and then it'll tip her. Oh, okay. Yeah, you go to the side, you roll through, and that's how you set up for the spacing. Because you saw you didn't move at all after the roll. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah, it is super sick. Wow, amazing ASDI down both times there, because with the wrong DI, that could have easily been a rest. Good use of crouch, getting away from all those grabs. Mm -hmm. Not that one, though. Wow. 
Oh. I thought a rest was coming. Yeah, he just didn't want to do it because he knows Rishi has optimal rest punishes, right? Right. So you're trading stocks there. Wow, I like that little two saint. You see he's turning around and sometimes it's an air, sometimes it's just a bait to get Rishi to come in. Right. So that he can turn around and, and bear him again. Always tricky. Always changing it up. Even that recovery, weird. Yeah. Just weird stuff. And the, the more weird stuff you do, the more you control you have over the match. Man, both these guys really having a hard time finding their kill options. Yeah. Playing so safe. Okay. Tournament winner from Rishi means he's going to lose that stock, and he's on the verge of just losing the first set 3-0. Maybe I'm overlooking things a little bit, but Rishi with an extended blink. Okay. So you got to think that two Saints pulled together some momentum here. Uh, obviously up 2-0, pretty big deal. Um, but coming from losers, sometimes it's a scary thing for the person on the winner's side, oh. especially if a combo like this is going to end it. But no, Rishi Not gets... Quite. Gets his own follow-ups. Okay. Puts together some more off the grab than we've seen from him in a while. This could be big. He oh. needed to get another re-grab. He knew, right? Because at that percent, you can't quite kill Puff. Now he could, but getting the grab is another problem. Yep. Toussaint comfortable just going up and allowing Rishi to come to him to try to bite. Oh, my God. Rishi's recovery. Oh, but he just keeps getting bared off over again. Wow. Yeah, okay. Reset from Two Saint. A quick, quick 3-0. All three games on FD. Yeah. Um, we'll see I, if that comes into play. But I think wow. we're going straight back for game four. Or, uh, I can't, game 2.1. I, I, I can't say I agree with that. <laughs> from Rishi? I, I, you, you lost three times in a row, man. Three times in a row. Right, but you gotta, you gotta think you're banning there now. You're banning to it now, right? So he doesn't get to counter pick to Yoshi's or something. Well, uh, where would you go instead? I guess like, because what do you, you, you ban, you ban Fountain and Dreamland here, right? I would ban FD and Dreamland. What's wrong with Fountain? Eh, okay. That's what he did. <laughs> you're a smart man. Yeah. So I don't know. I, 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 I don't know why he went there twice in a row. They were both really close matches. Well, he had a set to play with. That's true, right? That, that's true. I'm not. I'm really not trying to criticize. I'm just trying to get into his head. Yeah, just wondering why. Yeah. But we had a very, very linear. Wow, wow man. That's the second time that just because. So, so for those of you who don't know. The Marth dash grab, you usually don't dash grab with characters, but Marth dash grab, you do it because it's supposed to, or it will hit Crouching Puff when his standing grab never will. But because Puff wiggles in her crouching animation, there are certain times where she wiggles under the dash grab and you still miss and you get rested. Right, when you go for the crouch, when yeah. you're the initial into the crouch, yep. you just are harder to hit. Yep, and that's what, I mean, Toussaint definitely times it. He, he goes for it. Um, he's talked about that beforehand. But. Yeah. It still is a weird feeling for the Marth player. Wow, amazing tech chase up B. Yeah, that's that's some stuff, man. Especially because he's also trying to cover all the options, so having that just in his belt, good stuff. Reverse F smash means the DI is so not what Rishi wanted. Toussaint playing it very smart. Never over, over committing, even if he had an advantage and then lost it. You can't tell. He's just back to playing the correct way to play it, using his advantages. He's been mixing up. Oh, wow. I really liked, even though he got punished there, I really liked the two saint after hopping around a bunch. Just goes for the aggressive wave dash in with the shield. Yep. Edge guard doesn't quite work out, but it took all two saints jumps. Just hard fought. Rishi every single time. His recovery is so good as Marth. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay. Man, two Saint, uh, has he been down this entire time in these two sets? I don't think so. Um, maybe get some may time in game two. Yeah, but maybe. 
Hawks looked pretty dominant. Ooh, there's the wave dash forward smash. Yeah, try nice. and true. Good stuff. All right, but you know what we haven't seen this game yet that has been very important? I thought it was coming there. I, I thought, thought it was, was coming, coming there, there too. <laughs> but Tuesday wanted to put some sauce on it. Oh, and then Rishi just, let's say he just got a sick rest anyways. Yeah, sick rest, no follow-up <laughs> punish. Oh, man. Oh, he, he was chasing the roll there. Just so good at recognizing when certain follow-ups aren't going to happen. Yeah, and there's Damn. the, he rests again, and there you see, that is very, very intentional from him. It's not just like, oh, he got the wiggle. He's crouching there at the time to dodge the grab. Right. That's why he gets it. Really good from him. Um, man. He's won four games in a row now. Yeah. All right, so my problem is that all the stages with intense background music, Rishi, you have to pick something more lighthearted. <laughs> so I think you th <laughs> we got to go to Yoshi's, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Yoshi's is just such a strong, such a strong pick for Marth, right? Like, yeah. You think about when these um, like grab tippers are gonna kill. Yeah. yeah it kills at like thirty percent, thirty five percent. Well, and maybe even more important, you kill with non-tipper stuff a lot earlier, too. Yeah. So if you just get an F-Smash off the wave, F wave dash F-Smash we've been talking about, yep. that can kill at 70% on Yoshi's. Right. You know, it, it's pretty good. No, I, I was going to say uh, watch him go back to Battlefield just because that's... But... Uh. I guess... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um... I don't want to get into criticizing territory because he's way better of a player than I am. Yeah, but I don't know. You got to think that there's um, there's something about losing and then go to the same stage that might be detrimental. I don't know. I don't know. Let's we'll see. see it. Let's see if Rishi can prove us wrong. Okay. Well. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Not that was close though. Even at forty-seven percent. Yeah, with a tiny bit more charge, maybe. You get so much damage off of it, too, because it does so much damage, and then you always get magnifying zone damage from it, too. <laughs> True. So it did a total 19%. Not bad. I just love... I love how he goes for that back air. It really completely dips out for the counterattack. Toussaint playing this really patient. Oh, my God. Speaking of patient, what a dash dance from Rishi. Barely misses the tipper that would have got him that stock. Right. And it's interesting because they're both playing patient. Sure. But you got to think who needs to be more aggressive to win? Rishi, right now. I think so too. Yeah. Especially when you're losing. But I I've seen so many times in this set and then last set too where. Toussaint would play back. <gasps> no way. Okay. I was about to say that would be tragic. Yeah. Um, Toussaint will just take the air or, or whatever space he needs to take, threaten a little space at a time, and then Rishi will go after him and get punished. Ooh, no, no real punish from that grab. Mm -hmm. You saw Toussaint, uh, Toussaint crouching menacingly there, too. Yeah. Rishi's been getting uh, rested out of grab attempts a lot. Yeah been pretty huge. Oh, wow. Okay, a little, little cooking going on. Oh, I love that from Toussaint. Did you see that? He dashed back to avoid the grab instead of just going for, like, grab of his own after the after the down air. And that's really good because you would rather take a back, there, back air there a million times than a grab, right? right, right, right. And it's just safe to, to run away there. Oh, see, again, he was going for it. Or she just didn't overextend the nut. Well, there's definitely a reason why Puffs prefer the air to the ground um, against Marth, especially because a lot of these a lot of these aerials are, are just not the thing you're really afraid of. Yeah. Obviously, enough of them you get high percent. Ooh, that could have done it with bad DI, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, Rishi goes so hard. No rest, but doesn't need it. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. Good for Rishi to get out there with saving his jump so long. Oh, that's such a terrifying mix-up there, right? Yep. yep. 
like it, it feels weird to call it a mix-up, but it really is jumping at different times because it's not just a jump, wait, jump. Mixing up the rhythm of when Two Saints using his jump right. is absolutely huge. Yeah, it is a mix-up because at first you had a read on that, he could have fallen below. Yep, gotten, exactly. Gotten that up B. Yeah, because you use so much vertical <gasps> height right there. That was so close. I think he charged it maybe a bit too much. I, I wonder if it would have shield broken with a little bit less. Damn, I wish we saw that. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's so hype. Oh, that's going to do it. Yeah. Cheeky little up tilt. All right. Last stock situation again. But Two Saint with the lead. And you got to think this is might be it. Yeah. Wow. All oh, right. Oh, boy. Two five Saint games in a row. Wins five games in a row. Is he going to 6 0, Rishi? To win, defend the North. After being put in losers outside of top eight, Toussaint on the verge here of just tearing his way through. Yeah, 6-0 would really be a statement. Um, Has he lost a game in top eight? Great question. Against Nico. Right? Didn't he lose one against Nico? No. He did 3-0 Nico, did he? Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. It was so long. Yeah. I thought for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Has he, won a, has he lost a game? I don't know. No, he 3-0 Cypher Phoenix, right? It looked like he wasn't going to, and then he did. Toussaint. Just blowing up this bracket. Yeah. And he three out hugs. <laughs> oh, man. Tech! Oh, Warmer took a game. Did he? Right? That's Didn't he? That's amazing. Yeah, Warmer took the game on Yoshi's. Let's go, Warmer. Where he got the up throw shine to close it. Warmer, the only person to take a game off two Saints so oh, far in top eight. Oh, yeah, so far. This is a good stage. <laughs> yeah, this is a good stage. We finally, we're talking about matches that have happened. Rishi finally goes to Yoshi's. Yeah, I don't know why it took him so long. It's working out quite well for him. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out it's a pretty good stage, huh? Oh, beautiful conversion there yeah, from Tuesday. Love that turnaround. That's actually, there. like, if you don't play Puff, that's, like, hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Even if you do play Puff, man. Yeah. <laughs> you thought. I thought Fair was going to kill because Yoshi's is a ridiculous stage. I actually really like that Rishi kept charging the neutral B. Because once you know it's not going to work, like... You have to... You, oh, wow! What a tech... Oh, my God. Tuesday. Dude, 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 dude. That was so crazy. <laughs> that was like optimal f uh, smash attacks twice in a row. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Sour spot, F smash can actually hear, kill here, right? Yeah, yeah. Two Saint just every every time you think he's gonna play a certain way, he mixes always, it up. He mixes it up. Yeah. Oh wow. three. Oh. Damn man, Rishi. last stock. <laughs> Rishi's about to get six. Oh man. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. He can absolutely kill Puff at this percent, right? Yep. Uh huh. Two say not going for any of these edge cancel down airs. Oh, Rishi Double off stage. <gasps> nice. Oh my God. Two Saints, so much pressure, putting out one move. Okay, okay, okay. That's really big. Rishi bats away the shy guy, says, this is between me and my boy right now. Yeah. Oh. Wow. What a way for it to end, dude. Oh, my God. Of course it ends with another rest on, another crouch rest on the uh, on the grab. Two Saint got so many of those. That's really, really impressive, wow. honestly. And Two Saint ends the tournament, wins Defend the North 2019. Yeah. With a... Crazy losers run. Yeah, absolutely nuts. Drops one game in top eight if we're right to warmer. Three O's hugs, oh. three O's Ryo beat, six O's Rishi, which yo <laughs> goes over to steps a big kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man, but Two Saint really proving his dominance right now. Um, looking like in contention for best in New York at the moment. Uh, well, Cody's not here. <laughs> yeah, so at the Cody, moment. Cody's in L.A. Yeah. That's why I'm saying that, right? For sure. I mean, um, like, who else would it be? 
Look, man, it's a it's a tough conversation, but he has defended the North. Yeah, He's absolutely. Beat hugs. Cypher Phoenix in the run back. Rishi twice. He beat Big Kid in the ditto. Oh, he did. That was yep. what. That was that the top eight qualifier. Yep. Gotcha. And Ryo beat. So huge losers run. Yeah. Um, do you want me? To, do you want to interview him? I can interview him. Sure. Yeah. I'll, yeah, go, I'll I, go grab yeah. him. Okay. Hey, man. Great stuff. Yeah, that was super fun. That Happy birthday, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Sweat. Yeah, no problem. Didn't slept, dude. Long, yeah. long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was interviewing you in this exact same situation uh, <laughs> four days ago, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, congrats on the win. Super huge. You had a crazy loser's run to do it. Yeah. Because you lost to Cypher Phoenix outside of top eight. In pools. In pools. Talk to me about that. Man, so I saw a big kid lose to the Cypher, and... I don't know what that like, kind of like threw me off for a bit for for whatever reason. Uh huh. And then I played Cipher and I just kept thinking about Big Kid losing, and yeah, and but Cipher's a really good player, but I don't think I should have lost that. Okay, so why did you lose? Because you were thrown off because you saw him beat Big Kid. I was literally just in my own head. Okay. I, I have that problem sometimes, but like after I lost, like all that kind of just went away. I was like, you know what? I lost. That was the worst case scenario that I was worried about. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I've already lived it. Mm -hmm. So I was just like ready to just come back and win. I didn't think I'd really win, but <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I believed in myself. Let's talk about your run. So what was your score against Leighton, against Big Kid? It was 2-0. 2-0? Okay, so you dropped one game after you went to Losers against Warmer, right? Yeah. That's I the dropped, yeah. only game you dropped in your entire Losers run. I always drop a game to Warmer on Yoshi's. <laughs> I always do. Well, he killed you in a really, <laughs> yeah, really cool way. Yeah, it was, it was, swag, it was as swag as hell. I was like, damn it, Warmer, <laughs> every single time. God damn it. <laughs> All right, but, but talk to me about that run uh, in general. Why do you think you kicked it into such a ridiculous – I mean, you just ended it with a 6-0 again. Rishi. I just I don't know I feel like I was just playing melee okay like my focus was just completely there I I, I kept telling myself to um we're playing like 40 games mm -hmm. that way I wouldn't think about winning six sure yeah uh, I got yeah. you I was like this is friendly or huh. whatever huh there's like a friendly set it doesn't really matter etc etc but I was also thinking about how not dropping a game like from warmer would be really cool <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think I played really well. I think you played really well, too. I mean, you hit Rishi with so many crouch rests, and we were talking about how that's not just random. You're crouch resting yeah. him, like, when he goes for the grab. Yeah. Um, he just went for it too much. Yeah, you think that was it? Yeah. Talk, talk to me about Rishi's play. Do you feel Where do you feel like his play was at? Because um, I remember you you were not too hype about his play on Wednesday. Um, I don't think he he really stepped it up um, from the last time we played. Not, not on Wednesday, but from the last time we played, which okay. was, like, an Aeon, like a – like a year ago, either it was that one or Shine, because he would just, um, he wasn't doing much like fadeaway fares, he was just like kind of, he was waiting for me to approach in, in his couch thing, and mm -hmm. then like, he would power shield, he was trying to power shield and get like mm -hmm. a force smash or a grab, mm -hmm. and it's just like, well, this is too damn obvious, you're just gonna, I, I can see you crouching, like, I'm, not, I'm just not going to approach. Sure. Yeah, I'll just, like, bait you. So let's talk about that, because something that JD and I talked about a lot on commentary, he said, if you ever want to piss off Toussaint, just say, Toussaint, the most aggressive puff in the world. Uh, so we were talking about that, because you did your fair share of camping and, and just, I you know, being Nico. defensive. You timed out Nico, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, but what we were saying is, when you see an opening, you're so convincing in going for it and being aggressive there. Would, yeah. you, would you say that's accurate? I'd say that's very accurate. The thing is, I, I've kind of come to terms of how Jigglypuff works as a character, mm. uh, especially after watching uh, Hungrybox vs. Cody at Smash and Splash. Sure. I was just like, well, I'm going about this all wrong. So, well, not all wrong, but basically, like, if I want to, like, get better and not plateau, I need to, like, expand my horizons and not really, like, um, hold myself to the one certain play style. 
Okay, but I, I also know, you know, your goal has always been be number one in the world. It has been. But you also have said for a really long time, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to show people that Jigglypuff is super, super sick and that there's a ton of unexplored yeah. stuff that she has. And, I mean, you showed that a bunch in this set. Your, your, uh, pla your edge cancel down airs are sick. The tech that you did on the left side on Yoshi that you turned into the yeah. forward smash, down smash, that was amazing. But do you think that your conviction to like do it in a super swag you way has gone a bit or less as you've learned Jigglypuff has, needs to do certain things? Well, the thing is, I think she could still be swag as hell. Okay. So even if you're playing defensive, you could just be swag as hell anyway. Okay. Like in certain situations. Like, I think Duck is pretty swag when yeah. he wants to be. Yeah. So, like, I agree. stuff like that. Like, I think defensive play in general is is kind of sick sometimes to a certain degree when it's like not super degenerate. Mm -hmm. Like, even when I timed out Nico, I wasn't really like being too much of a weenie. No. Like, I was just like, all right, I, I will get some, some interactions in, but the thing is, like, like I know Nico can zero to death me. You've see, you see, you seen it. Jeez. He can yeah. kill me instantly. And yeah. He knows I can kill him, too. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to camp. Yeah. Because that's, that's usually how it kind of goes. And when I go aggressive, usually he camps me, and, you know, I'm... I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I want to win. I feel you. Well, congrats again on the win, dude. Uh, anything, any shout-outs you want to do? Anything you want to say? Uh, shout-outs to, hmm, shout-outs to Hacks for the, the new weekly. Yeah. Uh, shout-outs to Encore Esports for um, getting me out here and giving me a hotel. It was awesome. And streaming this event. And streaming this event. Yeah. yeah. And um, shout-outs to my mom, I guess. Hell yeah, Hell that's yeah. what we like to hear. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching Defend the North. Congrats again to Toussaint on the win and to everyone who made it into top eight and just had a good time coming out. Uh, I think that does it for us, yeah? All right, bye, guys. Later. Thanks for watching.